Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on them youngsters and show you how I vaccinate my young birds. So, and then also show you the parents. So, all right. All right. He's one of those squeakers. As you can see, he's already fully, you know, fully feathered underneath the wing. He's ready to go. He's got nice long feathers and stuff, so should make a great long distance bird. Uh, the mom is actually out of one of Danny's lines, so you kind of need to see how they do. So, anyways, uh, show you how I vaccinate them. I use uh, salmonella, and I also use the uh, PMV vaccination. So. But anyways, uh, here's how I uh, vaccinate them. I uh, take their feathers like this. I get it kind of folded back a little bit so I can see them really easy. Okay, like that. I wet it down with alcohol based. Okay, also a couple of reasons. It helps kind of kill anything that's in there. It also makes it easier to see the skin, see? So you can see here, as you can see here, um, you can see all this really, you can see really a skin. Um, salmonella, I give 0.2 right here. You can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but anyways, um, I always spray the tips down too, but I did that already, but uh, spray it down with the alcohol so that way it does not hurt the birds and you can't pass anything from back and forth. This rubbing alcohol, the 99% one stuff, so... Anyways, I pull the skin back, give it a kind of a pull up, stick it underneath, give it to him. Same with the next one. I kind of move it over just a little bit, kind of do the same thing, grab a hold of the skin, pull it up. Yes, ain't no baby. Just like that. All done. Good. There's one of the youngsters. He's ready to be weaned. So nice looking little bird there. All right, get the next one out. All right, here's the next one. You can see too. He's fully feathered underneath both wings. <laughs> be nice. He's actually holding it up for me. And uh, here, see a nice long distance bird, should be a long distance bird. They don't have quite the long feathers like uh, Adrian's bird did, have extra feather life flight here, but these are on Danny's line, and you know, Danny always raced long distance all the time, so he always really did win a lot of races, so. But anyways, uh, oops. All right, before I get the, you know, the next one out, I'm gonna show you what I do to get the PMV and stuff out. Just pick and put it up there. Like I said, I spray it first. And I always pull it way past where I need it to be. So you can see here, it says 0.5. We don't need that much, we only need 0.3, but I'm filling it way past that, and that way I can put it in there and you don't get no air bubbles in there. Because we always put this stuff right up underneath the skin. So. There we go. We got 0.3. Same with the cell now. Give it a spray. That way you're not putting, you know, bacteria back into the bottle too. I know everybody recommends actually using two different needles, but. Do it this one here, the same thing. I had to kind of pull it past and then push it back in. You have a little flicker. Kind of kicks any air bubbles out of it. All right. Okay, we'll get the next bird out. All right, guys. There you go. Your next one. All right. See? He's nice and fully feathered underneath there, both sides. And he'd be nice holding it right up for me. Had a boy. <laughs> Nice feathers. Anyways, uh, and we'll show you how we do this. 
I hold them. So they pull it up. That way you can see, hopefully. Give it a spray. That way you can see the skin a little easier. See? I know some people actually give it up underneath the legs, but I prefer to do it here. Um, I tried to underneath the legs, and sometimes I didn't hit it very good. So here I found that it's much easier. Anyways, like I said, I was trying to think get a little bit closer so you can see better. Pull the skin up. Stick it up underneath. Do the next one, same thing. I just move it over just a little bit. There you go, stick your head down. And you're just doing the right up underneath the skin, so. Anyways, there. he's all done. He's ready to be weaned. And this alcohol dries off really fast for him, so. I do this in the, even in the middle of winter here in Minnesota, so. But anyways, uh, here's the dad. Nice, beautiful feathers. Okay. You can see. Nice, beautiful feathers here. He's got a little bit longer feathers too. To make a great long distance bird for me. See? He's kind of ruffled up a little bit because they've been kind of trapped in here a little bit. So, beautiful looking bird. Alright, get your mom out. Alright, mama, where'd you go? There you are. This is out of Danny's line too. This is the mom. So you can see here. Nice looking feathers there. Funny how you can get a red and blue check and you just, just get two blue checks. You just never know what color you're going to get when you put two different colors together. But beautiful looking bird here. So, all right, guys. Please like, share, comment, leave a comment below and um, have a great day. Thanks for watching. All right, I just wanted to give you a, a helpful hint on how I clean up my needles so that they last a little longer. So um, it also helped kill all the bacteria that's in there is uh, taking, fill up a cup full of hot water, take and fill this up with your um, alcohol, take and fill it up, Suck her up and spray it out. Kind of tilt it if I had to. And come back in here with the hot water. Just rinse out the extra alcohol and same with the next one. So this is all this was a cap off a water bottle. So I'm using to help this so. Makes it help you last, make your needles last a lot longer. So, all right, just wanted to give you a helpful hand. So, all right, thanks.